Hi Taurus, this is going to be your soulmate reading for January of 2020. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're really doing well today. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome. <laughs> okay, so um, as usual, I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, information's down below. Um, I do a giveaway every single month, very simple to enter. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below in the description box. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so I'm wearing the Soulmate one and also the Twin Flame one as well. There are actually two different variations of the Twin Flame bracelet on my Etsy, but yeah, they're meditated with, they're staged, they're handmade by me. They're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. So do check out my Etsy shop down below if you are interested. And the, yeah, the link will be there. Also, if you want to check out the reviews and see how they have really made differences in people's life, which is absolutely incredible, do check out uh, the Etsy link as well. They are very affordable, free international shipping on everything, loads of bracelets on there. All right, so Taurus, let's have a look and see what's coming through for Soulmate in January of 2020. I'm excited, I'm interested, I'm curious, I want to know, but I also want to help you at the same time to show you what I can see for you as well. All right. All right. <laughs> I never feel like I'm just talking to myself. I feel like I'm always talking to an audience in that sense, even though I'm just staring at a camera. It, it doesn't feel that way. I think when I started doing it, it was a bit strange, but then of course, just seeing the response and seeing how so many of you are also replying back and interacting, it definitely makes me feel like I'm talking to a lot of people now. So it's quite cool, it's quite cool. And just also spiritually and energetically as well. All right, Taurus, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna start talking properly about your reading. So we have here the King of Pentacles, which is your energy, right? That earth energy, but this is showing you feeling so strong, feeling so confident, and in many ways, getting what you want in terms of this soulmate connection in January. This is about you feeling really strong and very, very stable. This is about the connection really reaching its potential because the Nine of Wands is about potential and it's about progress. Now, the King of Pentacles energy, now with your male or female, I read energies and tarot, not the genders. So just forget about the genders for a second. If you look at the King of Pentacles, you know, it's a very strong, strong energy. Some would say the strongest energy in terms of the Pentacles, but it's also showing commitment, stability, security, desire, strength, maturity. This is about you feeling in your own element and really accepting yourself for who you are, which I think is amazing. Can we just give you a round of applause? That's good. If you don't feel like this, you have so much potential to reach this King of Pentacles energy. So you will, you will reach that potential. But if you feel like that right now, I just want to say, wow, I am so happy for you. So, so, so happy for you. You know, there's a phrase where people say, good for you. I don't know if good for you is a, is a phrase where people sometimes, especially in the UK, people say good for you, but I, th there's a thing about that particular phrase where it can mean that someone might not actually mean what they say, you know, but I, I just want to say I'm proud of you. I don't want to say good for you because I know here in the UK, when someone says good for you, it's, it's almost like they're kind of taking the you know what out of you, like they're just trying to make fun of you and, and kind of acting in a bit of a jealous way, but yeah. Is, is that the same in other places in the world where good for you doesn't actually necessarily always mean that, it, you know, they, they feel good for you? Anyways, let me know. That's something I really want to know. But essentially, I'm just so really proud of you for, for that. And if you're not in that energy, just know that you will get there. Three of Pentacles here is, again, about you getting what you want out of this connection. This is about teamwork and collaboration. This is about something really mutual, equal. This is about someone else initiating things with you, make, wanting to make things work with you, wanting things to progress with you. Now, this can be small baby steps towards the bigger picture in terms of the connection, but at least there are steps and progression made here. And I really feel like this is what's going to make you so happy, the progression in terms of this connection, even just getting a really lovely message from this person can just uplift your day. Feeling like there's a little bit, you know, more progression, there's a little step that gets taken in this connection can also make your day. It's almost like this person makes your day, even with the smallest of smallest 
progression <laughs> you know um that's how much I feel like this person means to you there's definitely someone here that means a lot to you and if you're single and you have no one around you this reading I'm sorry most likely won't resonate with you but definitely check out your moon your rising and your venus signs and then check out the the other readings on my channel in terms of love because I feel like they might be able to give you more information especially if you are single you're looking for love okay so that's what I would mention but I do see here that you're going to get what you want out of this connection and it's almost like every little baby step that happens in terms of this connection or you know just getting a nice message from them or hearing from them unexpectedly or you know even things like that is just makes you feel really good and also the connection seems to be getting much much stronger now if you're already with this person um you're in a couple that's great, right? That is really great. But this is specifically for those of you that are maybe in a situation with your soulmate where you're not really sort of sure where things are going. But also this is about you in January being sure about where it's going because there is actual progression and consistency from this person and you're able to see exactly where they are going with it. And you're also getting those signs as well from them quite physically where you're getting messages. You know, they seem to be sort of holding on to you a lot more. Okay, even expressing their thoughts and their feelings because the moon is about withholding information. So this can be withholding um, or holding on to emotions that perhaps they're not expressing to you, but they are. They're going to express a lot to you. Also, Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups here is really, really showcasing that there are things progressing here. You may even meet up with them, go out with them, have a really fun social time with them because this card here is showing social and this is showing their feelings being expressed. This is them holding on to you but also holding on to feelings that they have for you and then this is them having so many strong feelings within them and remember I said they're going to be expressing a lot of this and it's all going to come pouring out essentially that's what I'm seeing it's all going to come pouring out and especially with the space of cups it's all going to be released it's all going to come out and flow and just progress and it's a sense of freedom that's what I'm seeing is that it is really going to flow progress get stronger that's what I'm seeing really get very very strong um, in this sense so that's what I'm seeing things are just getting stronger things getting um, much much better and feelings are also being expressed to you in such a way that is so 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 strong Empress Empress Knight of Cups there you go they're going to express their feelings to you. So you're going to know where you stand. As I mentioned, you're going to know where you stand, right? Especially with those four cards I was talking about. You're going to know where you stand with this person. And again, baby steps, you know, even just getting a message from them can really uplift you, make you feel good. But this is about that potential being realised, getting what you want in the situation as well. So feelings are going to be expressed. There you go. King and Queen of Pentacles. There you go. That's it, right? That is it. Because the Taurus energy is the Pentacle energy as well. There it is. There's you and your counterpart. King and Queen of Pentacles. Getting what you want. Commitment, stability, security, emotions, feelings being expressed. The Empress is ruled by Venus. So feelings are definitely going to be expressed to you. There's a lot of growth that is coming through here. We've got, just got the last card as well. It is all kicking off. Tower here. There are some big changes. You can see that here. I mean, you know, holding feelings to then expressing it all out is a huge, huge, huge change, right? It is a huge change. It's, it's almost like the tower is just getting knocked in so many places. And that's exactly what's happening. All this negative energy is just being thrown out. And then, you know, the tower is empty, but then the tower crumbles and then something new gets built in place. And it's just like, wow, that's that kind of energy that I'm seeing here. The tower is brought in by the universe and what's going to happen is, is that all of these feelings inside of this person, it was just bubble, 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 bubble and then just burst. And just flow, flow, flow and it's like they're just going to tell you everything, come towards you and tell you everything that they feel about you. King and Queen of Pentacles. So, Taurus, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, yeah, let me know, you know, if you have any comments, any questions, all of that good stuff, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have already subscribed to my channel, do click on the bell notification because it will notify you when I post or upload new videos. It will go straight into your subscription box, which is free. Also, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. We've got a repeating number. 
you see this, it is 19, 19 on the clock. Also, um, yeah, so, you know, everything is in the description box below, and I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and take care. Bye!